What is up everyone, the 25th Genius is back with another webtoon review and a promotion. So hopefully I can get this video out within the time limits of this event. So basically it's called King's Raid. So if you read these three series here that are down below, you get five coins. So I've already did review and I've raved a lot about Omnipotent Reader. If you're not checking this webtoon out, you are sleeping. It is amazing and it's done by the same creators that made Solo Leveling. So you know it's gotta be a masterpiece work of art. But today we're going to be talking about this webtoon here called Return to Player, which really strikes at my heart for a lot of kinky reasons. So I can't wait to share it with you today. But before that, if you like this channel and what I do, uh, we're actually getting a lot of subscribers um, after recording this video, so I'm really happy for that. So please like and share these videos and leave a like and a subscribe because it helps out the channel. It's absolutely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. With that being said, let's get into the review. So Return to Player, what is it about? Return to Player focuses on this guy by the name of Sehun Kim. And he is the sole survivor of a life and death game that took place 10 years ago. Being the only low survivor, losing his loved ones, and basically with nothing else to do, he's given one opportunity by the mods of the game to go back to the day that everything happened 10 years ago to hopefully re-correct uh, the apocalypse of the world. Being that he has nothing better else, I mean, you know, he's the only one there, I mean, you know, he, he only has himself in his hand. Being the only person by himself, he decides to take up on the opportunity to try to retrieve everything that he has lost within his 10 year struggle. So armed with all the abilities of the monsters and the weapon tree and also some kinks and some perks as if he was a mod of a game he will use all these abilities and what he knows in order to defeat the game masters at their own game will he do it will he succeed who knows oh i should probably mention this this is a spoiler alert by the way i'm sorry here it goes the girl that he saves his soon-to-be girlfriend is actually extremely old I don't know why I'm adding this in this review, but I just was amazed when I saw it, so I thought I just should share. What I like about this webtoon is kind of the precedent that it sets. And I've started noticing this a lot with the current trend of webtoons. And you know, you see it in stuff like The Gamer, Omnipotent Reader, Hardcore Leveling Word, even Solo Leveling, if you will, and a myriad of other webtoons. If in the anime community you would consider Isekai to kind of be like that popular, ever-expanding trend that doesn't seem to get old, and I feel like what's going on in the community is this at this transfer to another world, and it's a game which you can level up and gain a lot of awesome skills. Which, honestly, I'm not opposed to the, the idea of. See, the reason why Isekai works so well is because it's based on the, on the author's mind. And the power of the imagination is infinite. It's limitless. You can do anything with your imagination. And it's always good to see how each author articulates such an Issei kind of thing within their own head. And that's the same thing with a game. It's like the reason why so many games are popular over the world is not because it's the same thing we're playing a game. It's how the game is done. Which is why we have so many games in this world. And that's kind of what's going on with webtoons like Return to Player and Omnipotent Reader. Whereas like, yes, we know it's a game and it's kind of the same cliche, you know, apocalypse and you get transferred to a game in which you have to level up and, you know, build your stats. But it's every game is different. Every webcomic is different and every isekai is different. And that's basically kind of my point where it's so different and very unique that it's always good to see how each webtoon or each type of plot story is going to be different from the next. Also too, as people who read webtoons, you probably like games, you probably like um, isekai, you probably like fantasy works like that. So as an avid game lover who never gets bored playing different games, it's good to see how authors articulate different types of apocalyptic games within their webtoons. And to an extent, a lot of people want to play that game. They want to be in that world. They want to have powers that never they could never have in the real world. And I really do like the trend that it that webtoons is setting because again, it's a really good one and it's very enjoyable. It started with things like the gamer and hardcore leveling world, and I'm glad that it's seen that it's branched out to other new popular webtoons that are getting their foot in the door. 
the reason why return to player really strikes to me is because it follows a lot of similar tropes that i have seen before but as i've said before that's really not bad because it does something different than the other webtoon before it so for example in return to player you know I, it's my first time really hearing about someone who is going back after replaying the game and with that advanced knowledge how is he going to change the world if he can even do that um in addition i do like the plot and i do like how this apocalyptic thing because when you add these powers to a game it's kind of not really as apocalyptic as you would seem because you you're basically are a cheat code because you can do so many other things that um most people can't and i do like how everything is kind of laid out to us from the very beginning which again i'm not so much of a of a disagreeer of you know basically kind of filling in the blanks and adding this little mystery but it also but it has to be done very right and it has to depend on your story that's why i talked about a webtoon like parallel city really was very hard for me to get into at first because everything wasn't kind of laid out but the plot was so complicated it would have just helped if you laid it out like that the game in return to players seems so complicated that it makes sense that we're seeing the game masters and what the actual overall game is which is something that even i'm just a reader did do because i would like to see some of the game mods and the constellations that are in that world and kind of returning player did that within the first five weeks of, of their official running online webtoons so if you really like the type of game things if it's not really getting bored to you and if it's more popular within your uh my webtoon i really think this is a definitely worth read if you read this webtoon now along with three other two other webtoons you can get five points which you can use for your fast pass and again it's a really just good story with a really good plot and i recommend it to anybody who's looking for a good thrill and wonder what's going to be happening at the end and that is my review on return to player so let me know in the comments what you think about a webtoon like this like do you like this type of thing do you like how webtoons are slowly going from this um, Korean manga based thing to like this game transfer to an apocalyptic world game type of cliche. Let me know what you think in the comments about this. If you like this videos and you have been watching for 